What's up guys? So <clears throat> I'm gonna try to finish the Storm, G Storm uh, Jim Lee custom that I'm doing right here as you can see hopefully you can see okay in that angle uh, try to we try to glue some parts together first Turn that off because I know that makes a, a bad noise and you can't really hear. So, um, she has two heads. This one, which I think came out really nice. This one came with the original Storm. So I just kind of repainted it, the head and it looks pretty nice too. Uh, these are the, the uh, what do you call it, shoulder pads. And these are the two symbols that go on it. She's got two pairs of hands and a cape. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to put on a shoulder pad right now. And see, this is the right side, I think. So let's see, this one is the right one. Just gotta, just gotta do, Right there, I think it's the right, maybe there. Yeah, like right next to, which one call it? So, try to glue it right there. I'll try to put a lot of glue so it. I'm gonna use Loctite glue, which is really good. And here we go. I'll put it right here. Just putting some pressure on it. I varnished the whole figure, that's why it looks kind of like glossy. I didn't want it to be too glossy, but I think the varnish protects uh, the paint job really well. So, hopefully, that's. Um, It looks like it's still loose. I can see right here. Okay. So the glue wasn't touching the the glue wasn't touching both sides. Now it is. So it should It should be okay, I just gotta leave it alone. All right, so let's try the second one. Right here. Just test fit it. Oops. Okay, so <laughs> it didn't glue for some reason. Hmm. Let me just put some more glue, I guess. Careful. Oh, 
some reason it's not making contact. I was afraid of this. Ugh, it's all over my fingers too. Let's see. What can I do here? Seems to make it, to be making contact, but hmm. try to go the other one now. I guess if it pops off again, I can just try really. Re glue it. Can you guys hear the siren? I live away, like two blocks away from a from a hospital, and I've been hearing that f freaking siren for decades. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna try to glue this one. Alrighty. putting my thumb on her breast because it might mess up the nice uh, varnish or the paint job so Let's see. it looks like it's touching what it's like so deep in there Maybe I spread the glue around. So you try to do the same thing for the other one. I guess you have to give it some time for it to dry. It looks nice. Well, I know what I can do. I can use the crazy glue to seal it on the corners. Now what I did to the crazy glue, most people don't do this, but I did. I cut the tip and only left like three or four little hairs. That, what that does, it, it gives you the ability to micro, you know, like sometimes when you put gray glue, the spot where you're putting it is so small and, and the brush just like puts too much glue on it. So what you need is like more control over the, the glue that you put in. So this gives you that control. So cutting these hairs is really, is really hard to do because the glue's on them when you pull it out of the can. So what I did is I I used this thing. This is one of those Gundam cutting um, tools when you build Gundams. They're pretty cheap, they're like 10 bucks. And what I do is um, when I get a new crazy glue, I go really close to it and I cut off the hairs with this and then you leave the amount of hairs that you want and that's how you get that nice um, control over the hairs. Although mine is a little sp spread open, 
I guess I was not using it right and I kind of bent the hairs that are there. So I still gotta be really careful. So I was thinking maybe I can use it to seal it on the corners here. I'm gonna do that right now. Oops, there I did one side. Move this cape from there because I don't know if you can see when I'm applying it. Let me see if I can move the camera. Okay. I move the camera a little bit there. All right, so right, now you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm using crazy glue and um, going to the other shoulder pad right here. You anchor it with your pinky so you have more control over the glue. And you go right to the corner and you just dab it there like that. Dab. And now it's glued in from this corner and that corner, which is really good. I try to do the front too so it'll be more uh, secure. I just read, oh, there you go. It's okay. Uh, see, right. There. So I don't know if you saw that, but I managed to get the glue right between the cracks and not put a bunch of glue there that you, you know, mess up the whole thing. So that's why it's so good to cut the hairs off. Right, I'm trying to do this side now. All right, now, now I'm pretty sure with the Loctite glue underneath and the crazy glue on, board, on, on two corners of each the pad, um, it, should, it should be very secure now. It won't pop off or anything. So that's good. I should just wait until it dries. So, she's looking really nice. Let me just direct the camera a little bit here. All right, so now I'm gonna try to put on a cape, which is a hard thing too. Uh, let's see, the cape goes on this way. So I just should remove the hands. like this yeah, I think that's the that's the back so you just try to do this just make sure you don't got any glue on your fingers because you don't want it to press on the nice paint job to get it this and inside so it's kind of tight and that's gonna mess up the paint just putting it in but I could just retouch it when I finish putting it in It 
still too tight. Let's see, what can I do here? I gotta find something that's thicker than the wrists. It's too. Kind of whiten it a little bit, stretch it out, pull it out, and then put it back in and see if it works like that. I gotta retouch that. All right, this is rubber. It's so soft. It is one of the softest rubbers, so it's very delicate. When you paint it, the paint rubs off no matter what, so you gotta repaint it. Also, if you put enamels, like you know the gold part, it's enamel, so you gotta be careful with that. You gotta put some protective layer underneath the enamel so it won't uh, mess up the rubber because rubber melts when you put enamels on it. Seems to work. It's really tight though. All right, so you just put in this thing and you stretch it out. And then um, you pull it out and um, put it back inside the wrist. See you guys getting all this? All right, yeah. Let's see. And she actually looks looks really nice with this head. I thought that this head was kind of nasty, but it's not. When you put it on her, it looks really nice. I just had a Dremel uh, deeper, and so and now it fits on, on this peg because the peg originally came with was this tiny little peg, and this peg is huge. So either way, it fits when you drill it in there, and you can turn the head too. But unfortunately, because of the large hair, you can't really like, uh, you can turn it side to side, maybe a little bit up and down, that's about it. This one has more mobility. And the new the new uh, Storm, it comes with that really nice short short uh, length mohawk. That, that will fit on this body, so that's pretty freaking cool. All right, let's see, let's try. Let's try to put this on. Let's get this on. All right. All right, it's on. It is on, so it just needs a little touch up. So now, I just need to glue this here and here, and she should look pretty much done. Luckily, the varnish that I put makes it slide. Makes it slide a, a little bit on the uh, forearms. But it, just putting it on has messed up the paint job a little bit on the cape. But that could be taken care of with a little touch up. So, no worries there. No paint rub there either, so that's good. So she is looking pretty, pretty awesome, guys. And um, some crazy glue on my fingers. Let me just switch the head and see if you guys can check this out. Well, she looks pretty nice this way too. So, yeah, but I, I always like the Mohawk better, so, like that. So I'm just gonna glue the, uh, the cape on right here in the back, so you can see. 
And um, that should be it. She should be done. Storm, Jim Lee Storm. Let me put on the hands on her. And she does have closed hands too, so. But I like her with the hands open, so. Oh, I forgot, I gotta put these on. Jeez. This work is never done, man. I gotta put these on right here, like that. But, um, I don't know if I should do it right now. Nah, I'll do it later on, cause um, I don't wanna mess up. <laughs> All right, so, it's just a video showing guys how Jolie Storm, she's looking pretty badass and dumb. All right, guys. I'll show our next video how she's completed and done. All right, ladies.